Something that they don't understand is the dangers that they're walking on. That's the message for Sutina Nation trespassers intruding on the nation's northwest land. This past summer, Sutina police echoed that message, warning nude beachgoers of potential consequences. While fines and legal action fall under that advisory, another reality comes with unexploded military ordnance buried beneath the soil. They don't go bad. They're always ready to function. The fusing system on them is so sensitive that the slightest tap can ignite that spark. As the nation urges caution over what lies below, they're also looking forward with hopes that the land could one day be used. Specialists are clearing the soil of bullets, shells and shrapnel. More than anything, we would love to use this. We haven't used this in over 100 years, except for grazing, picking medicines and hunting, but we haven't been able to use it commercially, residentially. From 1914 to the early 1990s, portions of Calgary and Sutina land were leased to the Canadian military, setting up Sarsi Camp and the Sarsi Artillery Range. During the First World War, more than 45,000 Canadian soldiers used the land for training, but after years of exercises and weapon testing, a minefield was left behind. Though the Canadian Armed Forces followed up with clearing operations in the early 1980s, one spot says it wasn't enough. Once they completed those, we had our expert come out and in a morning he had filled buckets with uh, munition scrap and the nation denied accepting the, the lands as cleared. Hence, the nation made a decision to take removal responsibilities upon themselves, building a team of UXO specialists to help clear the area. When it comes to what the land might be used for, one spot says the answer lies in the future. None of us will probably benefit from this clearance. This will be generations generations after us that use this. As specialists continue removal efforts, Sutina Nation is once again asking the public to avoid the area. In Calgary, Tate Lakecraft, City News.